Hayag is a true Renaissance man. Painter, sculptor, author, photographer, and a chef. A self-taught artist, he took architecture and economics at the University of the Philippines. As an artist, he is both a furniture designer and a painter. My tatang um, was a writer and he had a group of friends and he hung around with artists, by painters and writers. No? So they painted outdoors in a shade, in the shade of a shed. And I was there watching them intently. And for the first time in my life, I saw grown-up men painting. Pwede palang gawing karir yun. So at 10 years old, even then, I realized na yung buri kong gawan. Potang nga akong tumuha akong mga. On 1978, he is said to first venture the art scene in Manila, easily got a name in watercolors with landscapes, religious images, and festivities as the favorite subjects. 20 years into my painting, nag black and white ako. Para bang in a way sa shift from from figurative to abstract. I get challenged by the sometimes in detail the doing detailed work. Pero itong theme would be the fiestas landscapes, whether in Baguio or other parts of the country. By 1990, he started exhibiting his artworks in different medium, wood as furniture at Ayala Museum. His innumerable one-man exhibits have found their way overseas to Asia, America, even to Europe. And his private and public collections are elsewhere kept safe in many national and local museums. Okay, tandaan ninyo itong, um, you know, as an artist, there, there, there are no limits to what you can do, what you can be. Pangagawang mo itong what, whatever your heart, whatever your passion tells you. continue the special episode with a tribute to a Kapampangan who was named National Artist of the Philippines for Visual Arts, Mr. Vicente Manansala. We will learn more about his life and his art when my city, my SM, my art returns. Music